Hey guys, I'm Trey with Dying Fetus, and you're watching The Age of Metal. Fuck shit up. This is Stephanie with The Age of Metal. We're here tonight in Tampa, Florida at the Orpheum with Trey from Dying Fetus. So how are you doing? Great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. So just talk about the tour that you're on right now. Well, we're on this tour and we've got Exhumed and Abiotic and Waking the Cadaver and another band that's going to join us, which is Rivers of Nil. Um, once uh, Waking the Cadaver can't do all the dates, so they're going to jump on and, uh, you know, we're stoked. This will be our uh, last tour in the U.S supporting Reign Supreme. So, uh, you know, we're trying to hit the, hit a good portion of it and uh, bring our music to the people. Awesome. So you mentioned some of the other bands that are playing on the tour. What do you think of the other bands, more specifically like Abiotic, like the younger bands in the scene? Hey, you know, got to keep fresh blood in the scene, you know. Uh, they're a good bunch of guys. They seem talented. Um, you know, as, uh, as the days goes on, go on, I get more familiar with their music. And, uh, you know, they're pretty cool. Pretty cool. And very soon you'll be touring Europe, so anything to say about that? It'll be cold, because <laughs> it's going to be winter. <laughs> but we'll be touring with uh, Heaven Shall Burn and Hypocrisy, and maybe one other band. I haven't heard what it might be, but, um, you know, I, I was always a big fan of Hypocrisy, so it's going to be cool to, you know, see them play every day. That'd be cool. I was talking to a few of your fans earlier, and they were uh, saying with that um, upcoming tour that there are no UK dates. They want to know if, or your UK fans want to know if you know if you'll be touring in the UK anytime soon. We just did. They want you again. Uh, hey, I can't blame them. <laughs> we like the UK. They speak English. Um, we will. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we're doing our last support tours for Reign Supreme, so we're gonna we're gonna start putting something together. And once we got something together, we're gonna hit everywhere that we can get so you know uk cats we're coming be patient but we'll be there i also talked to some of your eastern fans i want to know if you'll be touring in israel or india or if you're considering it wanting to we have had offers for both of those places and uh just stuff hasn't worked out you know every time india throws us an offer it's like right after we come back from that half of the world and it's like guys uh try to line that up while we're already on this side of the world because I mean, we will come over for one show, but like, if it's just one show, it's got to be cost effective for us to go because it's a, the plane flights alone are expensive as hell. So, you know, we do want to get out to India. We do. We'd like to play Middle East shows too, but you know, right now we just it just hasn't worked out, right. scheduling wise. Right. That happens. So, not your fault. We're not neglecting you guys. <laughs> we love you, but you know, hey, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Sorry. Got to think of business, potential profit loss, all that fun stuff that everybody loves to hear about. So is there anything about new music that you can tell us right now? Well, um, I kind of teased it a little earlier, but, uh, you know, we're going to start putting together a new album. I can't tell you much about it. It's still very much in the infant phases. You know, we're just starting to, like, purge the ideas out of the head. And I can't even say we have something that amounts to a third of a song at the moment. But... You be, be you know that next year there will be a new Dying Fetus album. So how do you write your songs to where you always have that really brutal sound in all of your music? Um, I just eat all of the O's from vegetable su soup. So it's just brutal. <laughs> and then um, that's kind of how it happens. That's how you get the brutal or Cheerios. <laughs> just you know, Fruit Loops. <laughs> You just get them O's, so you say brutal, even though it's, that's not how you spell brutal, but it's fun, hey. you know? Yeah. Who doesn't like fun? I mean, come on, she likes fun, I like fun. I love fun. Fun cool. is great, but this interview is fun. Or at least I think this interview is it fun. It is? Yes. Sweet. Yes, cool. go us. Yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> we know, we, we know. Cool, so what's next, what we got? No, we got, do you have a favorite song or a favorite album or anything that you've done? For dying fetus yes. okay because i was gonna say you know like uh you know feels like somebody's watching me sometimes it feels like you know that one but um no a dying fetus song grotesque impalement's always fun to play nice. you know and uh killing on adrenaline's my favorite album even though i'm not on it you know that's that's when i really like discovered and fell in love with fetus myself so that one's special to me so 
Yes, I personally love the new album and Descended to Depravity. You're on those ones, so. Hey, cool. Right yes. on. I did something all right. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm having an issue reading this. Um, a lot, I was talking to some of your fans earlier, and they were wanting, because some of the bands, uh, when they're on tour, they give music lessons on tour. Some of your fans want to know if you'll be doing that in the future. Thought about it. Uh, very little. I maybe I'm not gonna promise anybody anything. I mean, there's not much I can show you that YouTube doesn't already show you anyway. So, I mean, practice, kid. Come on, man. Jeez, what's your problem? Practice a lot. That's what I had to do. One fan in particular wants to know about heel to swivel. How you? Oh, heel toe and swivel. I guess I, I'm not a drummer. I just read the Facebook comments and wrote it on my note card. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you just do it. That's what you do. Um, you know, uh, if, if, it, if this is a drum nerd question, so I'll, I'll, I'll get really drum nerd on it. Um, it the swivel stuff just kind of developed when I switched to Axis pedals. It's actually a technique I do not like. I don't like doing it. I feel like I really don't have as much control. Um, and then double strokes, I had to learn that to keep up with the ridiculous music that these fucking guys write. So... You know, I have to adapt to the situation, and that's basically what I had to do. Um, and if somebody's trying to learn how to swivel or do the heel toe thing, or I don't really do straight up heel toe, it's more like ball the foot and toe. Um, get on YouTube <laughs> and learn it. Learn it up, dude, and practice. Start slow and uh, work your way up. Yeah. Nice. And single foot your blasts, even though I don't do it always, but yeah, do it. That's kind of fast. Like, yeah, I don't I know. I'm just kind of. Well, Mike Hamilton from Exhumed, man, that dude is bad as hell. He plays the Deeds of Flesh, too. I mean, he's single footing the whole time. He's like, bubble, 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 bubble. Freaking. <laughs> probably really kick some ass, I bet. You know, I bet. moving that foot around so much. I mean, well, just with that one foot, you know, I yeah. would think this foot would kind of not be as strong. Well, <laughs> you'll see him tonight. And he's a pretty strong drummer, so. Okay. So, how have you guys been playing music for 20 years now? Oh, we pick up our instruments and we just play. That's how. That's how. Yeah. That's all that it takes. I think that's such a stupid answer, <laughs> but, um, you know, jeez, uh, you just, if, you know, it's what we know how to do. You know, it's our life, and uh, we, we love the scene. We love the music we play. We like the, the, the environment and all, and, um, you know, we have, each of us each have a passion for music on our own, and, you know, um, just like to play music so we do it did you ever expect when you were first starting out that you would be playing for the song hell no <laughs> hell no i you know i always thought i'd be playing music for my life right. but not on a professional level like this level i always thought i'd be like in a shitty local band mm -hmm. not to say that local bands are shitty there are many fine and excellent local bands actually the band playing tonight's pretty freaking cool yeah. I, I don't know their name but they're, yeah, they're pretty cool okay the whole oh. thing, yes. Okay, well then, there you go, guys. They're actually the pretty cool. Singer, the lady who's singing is in the crowd, singing with the people. And I thought that was pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Yes, I don't remember all the local acts who are playing. Sure. I just know the hatch. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. But, you know, hey, every big band starts out as a local band. So, definitely, guys, support your local scene. Because, hey, you got to start somewhere. You do, definitely. So, um, did you, or... How should I word this question? Um, how do you keep playing death metal in particular? Or why do you keep playing death metal, I should say? It's the only thing people like hearing from me, personally. But, um, you know, it kind of goes back to that last question. You know, this is what we like. This is what we enjoy. You know, we, we like the scene. And uh, it's in our blood. And that's what we do. We play, we play death metal. <laughs> so how has the metal scene changed since you first started playing? Mm, I... I Nothing too drastic. I think that uh, over the last, you know, two decades, uh, elements of extreme music, death, black, grind, whatever, have edged their way into a more mainstream musical sound. Um, I mean, listen to a band like Slipknot, you know. Uh, Slipknot really uh, started bringing some stuff, and uh, Pantera, you know, uh, d double bass, aggression into the metal scene, you know, and, and Slipknot, you know, after their first album, they threw on that second one, they put through like a blast beat in right at the beginning of the album. So, you know, uh, the mainstream, the, the hot topic metal fan, you know, got to hear these things that it's like, whoa, that's really fast. And even though they didn't come up with that concept, 
you know, they, they were bringing it to these people and ultimately that brings them to us. So, you know, fucking cool, you know? So elements of extreme music are making their way into the more mainstream music scene. Well, not mainstream music, mainstream metal, yes. even though metal is not the mainstream. But, uh, right. you know, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe a death metal band will win a Grammy one day, you know, which would be really sick, you know? I know metal bands have been nominated for Grammys, like As I Lay Dying, and I mean, it's more of the mainstream, if I'm correct. I haven't really kept up on it, but yeah. I don't know, I'm, it's getting somewhere. It's getting bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you feel, well, I guess this leads into our next question. What do you think metal will become in the next 20 years? It'll evolve into something called progressive disco. I like it. Interesting to see. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened to no, me. I, I, you know, I, it's just gonna, it's gonna keep on the same evolution it's always been on. I'm sure that the speeds will get more insane and the guitar playing will get more technical and, and uh, then there'll be a point when everybody gets sick of that and it'll get more retro and it'll kind of be throwback and then it'll go back to being technical again. And yeah, you know, it's, it's, it, this is the scene for people that don't like what everybody else likes, right. you know, and you get, turn on the radio and you hear the same formulaic, formulaic songs and the same structures and you, you, you know, people like you, people like me, people like homeboy working the camera here, you know, probably go and say, well, that doesn't appeal to me. And then one day somebody, some cool uncle or, you know, a friend was like, check this out. And you were like, whoa, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to listen to. So we are, you know, underground metal music scene is for the counterculture and we will always be that way. And that's what it's always going to be. So I know that well, this band in particular, you've done, um, you've had some obstacles. I mean, all bands have bumps on the, along the road, like, you know, lineup changes and everything. How do you overcome those? Persevere. You just keep going. You know, that's John, really John and Sean, more John. And then Sean's been here for over 10 years, too. You know, I've been in the band for going on six, maybe seven years now. And, uh, you know, it's really down to the perseverance of the people in the band. You know, you got to want to keep going at it. Um, there's always going to be rough times. And, uh, you know, when you think you're at your worst, you know, the, the up, uphill climb comes again at some point. You never know when it's going to happen. But, you know, it does. It seems like right now we've been on an upswing for the last couple of years. Hopefully that can keep going. And, um, you know, we keep making brutal, brutal-ass music for you people. Brutal. So you guys have been credited with being the forefathers of death core or slam death, whatever you want to call it. Do you agree with that or? I mean, people don't remember suffocation because, I mean, those guys like made the slam riff, you know, I mean, like, you know, but if people want to come credit us for that, that's cool. That's awesome. We're very honored and flattered to have that, um, that title, uh, put on to us. Um, it's awesome freaking great do you have any advice for upcoming bands or the local bands we we're talking about before be good uh be good musicians write good songs be cool in your scene don't have beef with all the other local bands all that's going to do is drag you down let let the haters hate they're going to be there you know you just keep doing what you do be cool write good music bring a lot of people to your shows if people aren't coming Maybe it's a sign of something. All right, this is the last question. Do you have a message for the fans or anything? Well, we are going to put out a new album soon, so be on the lookout for that. Check our Facebook page uh, as much as you can um, to, for updates about that when we'll be having the album come out. And, uh, you know, I'd like to thank everybody who has bought a Dying Fetus album, bought a T-shirt, come to a show, watched a YouTube video, anything. You know, without the fans, without you guys, we couldn't be here doing it. So thank you guys for all the support. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. That was Trey with Dying Fetus. Like Trey said, they are working on a new album right now, and they're, they have an upcoming European tour, so check out on that and stay metal.
Die Stadt, die Feinde, 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 die St